Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, the channel for showcasing interesting variant Sudoku, because this is a hobby where we have a lot of fun exploring the logic that can be found in these grids. Today I'm bringing you a puzzle called Blue Beret 5 by Cafe to show off the palindrome constraint. Now this is another puzzle in the Sudoku U series, which are puzzles created by university students. Um, in this case, I believe Cafe is, was a student of Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards as Puzzles and Paradoxes class in order to learn the way of think, use, or, or, in order to think about logic and reasoning in different ways. And I love the fact that they're doing puzzle, using puzzles to do that. So the palindromes constraint is a constraint that has been used in variant Sudoku for a very long time. Um, I believe that I've solved a palindrome puzzle that was over 15 years old. So this is um, one of the original variant Sudoku constraints, as far as I can tell, um, because everyone understands palindromes. But even still, I'm going to go through the rules for you right now to explain how they work. So we've got normal Sudoku rules, which is that in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Then there are the lines in the grid, which are the palindromes. And the way they work is the digits that are placed on these lines must read the same forwards and backwards across the line. So for example, if this line, ignoring the digits that are already there, was one, two, three, two, one. However you read this, one, two, three, two, one, or one, two, three, two, one along the line, it is the same whichever direction you read it from. If this was one, two, three, four, one, then this would read one, two, three, four, one, or one, four, three, two, one. They are different numbers from each end, which doesn't work. They have to be the same number whichever end you read it from, and it's not at the moment. So they're how the rules of the puzzle work. I am going to, um, down below, you will find a link to this puzzle. Um, and in the end cap of this video, you will find a, a pop-up on the playlist in that pop-up should be to all of the Sudoku U, um, the Sudoku U series, which contains all of the puzzles. Um, yeah, uh, I think I've covered everything. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So this three is not in the middle of the line. One, two, three, four from this end. So one, two, three, four from this end also has to be a three. Two from the end of this line is an eight. So two from the end of this line is an eight. Three from the end of this line is a six. So three from the end of this line is a six. Now let's see if we can do any Sudoku. We know that eight um, by Sudoku has to be up here. It can't be here. So eight is in one of those two. But if this was an eight, this would have to be an eight and it can't. So this isn't the eight, this is the eight. That puts eight in one of those two. Now, if this was an eight, three from the end of this line would be an eight, but that would mean three from the end of this line here would also be an eight and it can't be. So that's not the eight, that's the eight. Now, is there anywhere else I can do something like that? This is in the middle of the line, so this could be any digit apart from the fact that it's seeing stuff, but it doesn't reflect anywhere, so I can't use the palindrome trick. Another way of doing a palindrome trick is you can highlight the cells that must be the same and try and do some elimination, such as this cell here can't be one, two, three. It, I think they could be four. They can't be five because this cell sees a five. They could be six. They could be seven, they can't be eight, they could be nine. So this is down to four options. Didn't work out quite the way I wanted, but that's the sort of thing that you can sometimes do. I think I need to figure out where the Sudoku I'm missing is. Such as nine in this box can't go in any of those. So nine has to go in one of those four cells. Now a nine here would put a nine here because two from the end of the line. So it's not in one of those. So now we're down to one of those three. A nine here would put a nine. Yeah, actually it could be any of those. So that's not it. But one is the same. One has to go in one of those, one of these four corners. A one here, This these are the middle of the line, so there's no problem here. A one here would put a one here, and that doesn't work. So one is in one of those three. Doesn't seem to be doing as much as I might like. Maybe I should have kept chasing eights. Because eight is in one of those by Sudoku, because of the eights looking into the box. 
And it can't be in one of those two. Eight can't be in those, and eight can't be in those by the eights that are already placed. If eight was in either of those two digits, they would reflect down here and see that eight. So eight must be in one of those two, which by reflection, if eight is here, eight is here. If eight is here, eight is here. So it must be in one of those two. That's cool. Which means that the eight can't be in any of these cells or here, so the eight is in one of those two. But these eights are looking down saying, that's not the eight, and I can place the eight in the corner. That is a nice use of that line. So in this box now, eight's not in any of those, it's in one of those three. Yeah, it's not that helpful, at least not yet. Nine is in one of those two by Sudoku. I should have seen that earlier. A nine here would put a nine here, and then put a nine up here, which would put a nine in there. Yeah, maybe. Nine is on this line in one of those two. Uh, sorry, one is on this line in one of those two. If this is a one, then that's the center of the line. If that's a one, both of those are one, and then I'd have to put a one in one of those two. And that seems okay. A lot of people will do um, palindromes by starting to color. Like they'll say that these must be the same digit and therefore where do they go in other boxes? I'd like to try and do it just by um, exploring digits first and see how far I get. Such as this, can't be one, two, three, it could be four, can't be five, could be six, actually it's this as well. So these are the same digit. So let's start that again. Because they can't be one, two, three, they could be four, they can't be five, they can't be six, they could be seven, they can't be eight or nine. So these are only four or seven. And they have to go up here. Because these are the same digit. So where do they go in box one? They must, it must, whichever one it is must go in one of these. So one of these must be a four or a seven. Therefore, one of those must be the four or seven. If it's four, it's there, there. It couldn't go there, so it would go there. And one of those two. If it's seven, I don't think it's as restricted. Those seem to be a bit more open. Well, they can't, they can't be one. They could be two. They can't be three, four, five. They could be six or seven. So those are only two. Oh, they can't be six. These are only two or seven. And whichever this digit is also has to go in the corner. Oh. So whichever this digit is also is restricted to these corners. The same as the one and the nine. So if this is two, two has to go in one of those. So hang on, let us, let's actually do some coloring. Where does that digit go in this central box? Because it has to be one of those four cells. Now it could be this one. If it was this one, it would reflect to there, which doesn't work because there'd be two in a row. So it's not that one. If it was here, it doesn't reflect at all. If it was here, it would reflect to here, which doesn't work. So the two or the seven is one of those two, because neither of these reflect. What about these two digits? Because they're the same digit as well, which means it can't be in any of those and it would have to reflect to the corner. Right, that's very clever. So these, Green can't be in any of those because that sees all of those and that sees all of those and they're the same digit. But green can't go here because it would reflect to here and see that green. And it can't go here because it would reflect to here and see that green. So green is in here. This is actually a yellow green pair. So now I ask, where does one and nine go? Because neither of these can be one or nine because the one and nine see them both. So one and nine can't go in any of those cells. It can't be yellow or green. This is a one nine pair, which means this, these are one and nine. And the one here makes that the nine, which makes that the nine, which makes both of those one. That's very cool. I like that. I like that. That is a very neat deduction. Now one is in one of those two by Sudoku. Nine is in one of those two by Sudoku.
this isn't nine anymore. Nine has to be in one of those two by Sudoku. This is the center of the line or it's in both of those. That, that seems to just work, doesn't it? So what can these be? They can't be one, they could be two. It can't be three. It can't be four or five or six. It could be seven. I think it can be eight, you know, it can't be nine. So these are two, seven or eight. So four is now in one of those two because I can't put four in yellow or green because this four sees yellow and green. So four can't be in any of those cells. Four is in one of those two, which makes this the seven, which makes this the seven. The seven looks back making yellow two. So one of these two must be a two, but, but it means that green is not two because this sees green. I love what's happening in box five. The seven, of course, makes green eight. So yellow and green is a two eight pair. And I can get rid of all the coloring now. I've done it all. That is really nice. So can I do more in here? Because this is a quadruple. Three, four, six, seven. Well, there's no four in any of those. There's no seven in any of those. So seven is in one of those two, but seven is in one of those two, but six in this column also has to go in here. So this is actually a six, seven pair, and this is a three, four pair because it can't be six or seven. So one, two, where's the three in this column? It must go there. And where's the six in this column? It must go there. And if that's a six, that's a six. And the three is looking down, making that the four and that the three. So three in this box is now in one of those two. Can those be the three? Maybe. This, these aren't eight anymore. These aren't seven anymore because one of the NCs are seven. This is a quadruple and I'm going to put it in five, six, seven, and nine. There's no nine in either of those. So if this is five, six, seven, this is five, six, seven, and there's no six here. So there's no six here and there's no five here either. These are both seven. So this can't be a seven and there's no seven in those and there's no six here either. So six is in one of those two, which means six is in one of those two. This is five or nine. Oh, the eight makes that the two, that was there from the very beginning. Sorry, I missed the Sudoku there. That's okay. I, I'll wear it. Okay. I'm not too proud. One in this column is now in one of those two and in one of those two. The two in this column is also down here. Could it be in those? Maybe. So these are one, two, five, and six. This can't be one. So this is two, five, or six. Okay. Is it these two digits which have to be the same? Because they can't be one, two, three. I think they can be four. I think they can be five. They can't be six or seven or eight or nine. These are only four or five. Oh, the six is taking six out of both of those. So that's not the six. That's the six because this is a five nine pair. So one, two, three, these or the five nine pair makes both of those the four. And this is the seven that hasn't been placed in the column. There is no six here because of the six. There's something about given digits that makes them invisible, <laughs> almost invisible. Um, so this is a triple now, which I'm actually going to put in. Three, 
seven and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, three, seven, and nine. Well, there's no nine there. So this has to be three or seven because they're the end of the same line. There must be a nine up here, but the three, seven looking across, making that the nine. And then three is looking across, making that the seven, which makes that the three, which makes that the three by palindrome. Sorry about the interruption, got an urgent work call and had to take it. So um, I think I just got these threes. Um, so what I'm looking at now is what's this triple? Okay, so these are one, two, five and seven. I've kind of lost the flow of the puzzle that happens. Oh, this five makes that the two, which makes that the two. So these are not two or five, that's the seven. And I can take the seven out of those. This is a two, five. Not sure, but this is a pair now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, and nine. So those are four and nine. So this is four or nine. And that is, I don't know. Okay. Uh, so this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, six. There's no, oh, there's no two in either of those. So that's the two. The six looks across making that the one and that the six. This is not a one. This is a two, five. Oh, but the two looks across making that the five, which makes that the two. The two and the five makes that the one and the two makes that the five. I could have used the two in the box. Didn't. Got there eventually. That's fine. Okay. Now, what am I looking at now? Well, the six looks up making both of those four because they're at the ends of the par um, palindrome lines. And now this six, well, this is a pair. I need to put a six in the box. This is the six. There is no five in this box yet, which means this is the nine and this is the five. So this row doesn't have a two. This row doesn't have a four, four. And these are one, two, one and three. And the three is looking at making that the one and that the three by palindrome that makes this the one. This is not the one. Let's put this triple in. One, two, three, four, five, and seven. Man, I hate it when I get interrupted this close to the end of a puzzle. The four and the seven in the column makes that the five, and I can take the five out of those. The four looks across making that the seven and that the four. The seven looks back making this the six and this the seven. These are now a pair. One, two, three, and five. And the five looks down, making that the three and that the five. The four looks down, making that the nine and that the four. By palindrome, that makes that the nine. This is not the nine. There is a single digit I haven't put in this box, which seems to be a six. And that is the correct solution. Badly timed phone call right at the end of the solve. I did like the puzzle though. Again, really nice use of palindromes. I haven't set much with palindromes. I have to admit, I, fi I find when creating puzzles, they, they break my brain. I always struggle as to, it's like, hang on, I can make these two cells equal, but these two, and then I can't make a line work between them. So well done, Cafe. I really struggle with palindromes, but this one I like. This was a very nice little palindrome puzzle. Good stuff. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the Sudoku U series. I have to say, I'm really happy these puzzles came in when they did because I was thinking I'd have to take a break um, because I've got a lot of recording to do in order for going away for over a week, but I'm just going to use these puzzles to fill the gap. In fact, you may get more than the six I've planned. I may end up recording like 10 or so. We'll see how we go. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.